-hmm. Welcome everyone to another Warlight Strategic Guide template stuff that we do for the multi-day ladder. I have today with me Master of the Dead and he's gonna help me figure out the best strategy picks for Oxfordshire template. Uh, apparently the map was made by Apollo. Do you know who made the, the, the this template? Uh, so this was template, uh, I was actually working on it myself. Oh, you did it? Yeah. Okay. I think there are variants of this template, but uh, this specific one was made by me. Okay, so let's go over the settings real quick. 0% straight round, cyclic order, there's only one reinforcement card. You have three initial spots of four armies each, and your starting income is of four. So very brawly uh, template, very small map. So what do you usually look for when you pick on this uh, template? Uh, so mainly I look for like coverage as well as uh, early income, like especially on turn one. Mm -hmm. And in terms of coverage, uh, so all the bonuses on this map are not efficient. So it's important to look out for inefficient bonuses and not pick those. So for example, the pink yeah. bonus in the south, Wantage, isn't efficient. Yep. Similarly, like uh, there, there's like there are bonuses in the north like the yellow bonus in the north isn't efficient and stuff like that so make sure you pick like efficient bonuses because you want quick income and cover regions of the map so i usually like to cover the southeastern pocket which has like some good uh, three bonuses mm -hmm. and sometimes you can even get like uh, uh, either an ftb on them or you can get like a double pick on one specific three bonus because um, so this template also has like four super bonuses, which but it's only really... one income, so it's not yeah. It's so not that much the, relevant. the super bonuses aren't really important uh, from an income point of view, but the reason why they're there uh, are because uh, they can create additional warlords on the same bonus. Hmm. Like for example, South Oxfordshire in uh, the south, uh, yeah. <laughs> in the south. It, it, it's basically a super bonus. So you could end up with like the bonus Henley in the Southeast, the three bonus. You could end up with like a double pick on that bonus. And if you end up in those kind of situations, you want to like, you know, ensure that you cover it because it's basically a no deploy first turn bonus, which can be like very powerful. Mm -hmm. I didn't uh, understand what does that have to do with mega bonuses? So the uh, usually when you have random warlords, you will have one warlord at a max, uh, you will have one warlord per bonus. Hmm. But if you have a super bonus, ah, you that have an extra. in itself okay. count, counts as a bonus. So there's an additional warlord. And sometimes you can have like a warlord on a bonus. And on that same bonus, you can have another warlord. Because yeah, of yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got it. Which, um, which makes it like like extremely efficient. And you can like yeah. get like, you know, a lot of income on, on this specific layout. That's what happened on the Enly. That's what you were mentioning, that you can triple pick there and get Henley without any Actually, deployment. Actually, it didn't all. happen on Henley here because you have only one uh, Warlord on Henley, on, on the Henley uh, bonus. Yeah, but you have but two in Wallingford. That's what I mean. Which yeah, is the neighboring yes. green plus one. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's a good example of like, you know, uh, getting uh, double warlord on the same bonus. So that's something to watch out for actually. Like if you have a very efficient bonus, which is a small bonus and you get a double warlord on it, you should usually contest it because otherwise your opponent will get like quicker income than you. Mm -hmm. uh, but so in your region, yeah. In your experience, uh, does this end up as a brawl where oh, you- Oh yeah, for sure. It's it's okay. like very similar to something like Saudi Arabia. It's it's a little less brawly than Saudi Arabia probably. Saudi Arabia you have like you know four picks each and you're basically fighting on each pick on turn one itself. Over here, since like the number of warlords available are a, a little bit more, it's not as brawly but it's quite brawly because you'll invariably be fighting either on turn one or turn two. Uh, not necessarily on every warlord of yours, but uh, basically you'll be fighting a lot. So you need like quick income here. Does and expansion come into play much? It, it does if like, you know, uh, for example, I have the Southeast and my opponent isn't there at all, right? And mm -hmm. uh, then we're fighting in the North. Uh, and if all of my opponent's income is in the North, he's probably going to lose because I have free expansion. And over the course of the game, I will like have safe income. But okay. if you cover the center and the Southeast well, um, invariably, like, you know, it's it's quite broadly and, like, uh, there's not free expansion, so to speak. Uh, Why is Oxford worth uh, so little? 
I mean, it's the center of the whole map. Why isn't it worth like five or something? Uh, wait, where is it? I'm not really good with UK right in the center. Geography. The CN plus three in the center. Oh yeah, uh, I found that it, has yeah. five territories. Um, I think, uh, yeah, so, uh, basically I wanted to create, uh, zones where like, you know, there it's, it's a little expensive if you're moving from the center to the Southeast. Mm -hmm. So, so for that, like, you know, I created like a, a bonus in the middle, which like takes, uh, I don't know it's if I, I actually, yeah. I don't know if I created that, uh, bonus value or it was already by a set by default, but I think it's a good addition because, uh, like, you know, it, it, it imposes a penalty on like moving from the center to the southeast if you didn't cover the southeast uh, with like your original fix. So I like those kind of bonuses, which like you know create a little bit of a gap between regions on the map. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, in terms uh, of like uh, bonuses which are like super good, uh, in in the center you have like a lot of two bonuses which can be comboed. And if you combo a two bonus, you can basically complete it without deploy, which is like, again, really powerful. Mm -hmm. um, so those are things to watch out for. Although at least Whitney is triple bordered uh, very easily. So um, yeah. that's a bit dodgy. I, I think almost all sustain. of them are positionally really sucky, but um, they give you really quick income and help you like, you know, dominate. Like for example, if I have like three income more than my opponent on the first turn, I can even defend a double border sometimes, right? So, like, those are kind of things to watch out for. Hmm. Okay, I think that's it. Um, anything else worth mentioning about this template? I think we covered uh, it all. Yeah, I, uh, oh yeah, there's a reinforcement card as well, which is a really small card, like three pieces for three armies. So, it's important to keep getting card pieces every turn because otherwise you may fall behind. But yeah, other than that, it should be a standard template to play. Okay, uh, thank you so much. Uh, let us know, everyone, if you have any questions, any example games you want us to go over. We will post this on YouTube and also on the forums, on the strategic forum threads. Uh, and of course, you can see it on the Multiday Ladder page as well. So bye-bye, everyone. Take care.